I don't even know <laughs> what you want me to say. It is early, yes. We're just gonna get back here when we get back here. I'm not gonna even tell myself time. I just know it's a big day. My first time visiting here was a lesson in the difference between being told and understanding. There was no way I could comprehend the scale of this terrain just by looking at a map. Of course, they neglected to mention that Chris was a former Pro XC racer, or that Josh had once beaten Lance Armstrong in a road race. All I knew was that we were going to start early, finish late, and get real tired in between. The weather didn't exactly cooperate that day, nor was my fitness sufficient to keep up with Chris and Josh. We shortened our planned route, and returned to camp by headland. Since then, I've spent many days and nights in these ranges, always with that first ride in the back of my mind. So six years later, here we are. Where the fuck up here? 60 kilometers from camp the way we came. And our truck is here. <laughs> <laughs> and 60 kilometers from camp the way we're going. There's a lot more water. I don't even know what time it is. Time to um, keep on moving, actually. Well, it's 4.30. Trail's not gonna shred itself. This is insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> we always talk about the 70% rule on these trails, but you'll understand it can be a little difficult to contain yourself when the riding's this good. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Still. It's best to keep it rubber side down. Help is a long way away. And besides, you'd never live it down if you got yourself into that kind of trouble out here. <laughs> Dude, it's spicy! Fast for riding for 13 hours. <laughs> I can't believe that. Unfortunately, the seemingly endless descents from high mountain passes do eventually end. And when they do, you're usually in the bottom of a deep, dark valley with a long climb ahead. You see, these mountains have a tendency to present you with challenges right when you least want to deal with them. Mechanicals are a lot easier to solve than impenetrable deadfall or a wall of storm clouds, so I feel like we got away lucky. Even with the sunset sneaking up on us still quite a ways from camp. One more descent. Two more. Two more descents. <laughs> Two more descents. I like how you measured in the descents. I, the descents are like fucking... That's chill time, man. A ride like this isn't really about the kilometers ridden or the meters climbed, or even the specific route taken. 
It's more about the beauty of efficient movement through the mountains and finding an unfamiliar experience in a familiar place. We got the sun setting over there. We got the sun setting over there too. We got a sweet trail. We've traveled these routes before, with restful nights under the stars giving us the energy for playfulness on the climbs and the descents. But to try and cover this much ground in a single day is an entirely different experience. Mind you, I don't know if it's an experience I'd recommend to most of my friends. Ready. But hey, now the weight of that first sandbagging with Chris and Josh is finally gone. 